We're now going to look at congruent and similar shapes. These two terms you need to be really familiar with and you need to know what they mean. So let's start off with congruent. If two shapes are congruent to each other, that means they're exactly the same shape and size. So shape A and shape B are congruent to each other. I measured both of them earlier with my ruler and I found that this one was six centimeters long and two centimeters wide and this one was six centimeters long and two centimeters wide. Obviously then, as they're rectangles, these angles, this angle, this angle, this one, and this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all eight of them are right angles. So they're all 90 degrees. So this shape has six and two, and six and two, and 90 degree angles. This one has six and two, six and two, and 90 degree angles. Therefore, these two shapes are congruent to each other, the same shape and same size. If two shapes are similar, that means that one is an enlargement of the other. So this one here, C, I measured it earlier with my ruler, and I found this to be 12 centimeters and this to be four centimeters. And that means that this um, rectangle C is an enlargement of rectangle A. It's also an enlargement of rectangle B as well. And the scale factor of enlargement you can see is scale factor two. If you multiply the length by two, uh, you, uh, six times two is 12. And if you multiply the, uh, the width by two, two times two is four. The angles you'll notice will be the same. Obviously, whenever you enlarge a shape, the angles don't change, otherwise it wouldn't be the same shape. So congruent means two shapes of the same shape and size. Similar means one's an enlargement or a reduction of the other one.